Hey everybody, Adam here for True North Wilds. This is the April unboxing of the Lucky Tackle Box Walleye Species Specific Box. LuckyTackleBox.com if you want to check them out. This just arrived yesterday, so it's a little bit late in the month, but I'm not too concerned because it doesn't happen that often with Lucky Tackle Box. They're usually pretty good for that, so every now and then a little bit of a delay for whatever reason, not a huge deal. So let's open this up. Spring walleye fishing is two, uh, three weeks away for me and I am super excited so uh, <laughs> I'm always happy to add to the arsenal and this time of year when I'm just getting geared up for spring and starting to pack all my stuff and plan it out, definitely an exciting time to get more walleye gear. So as I'm opening this, don't forget if you're not already you can follow us on Facebook, facebook.com slash truenorthwilds, on Instagram at truenorthwilds and of course our blog site truenorthwilds.com. All right, so open up the paper. A oh, couple layers of paper to go through here. Let's get that out of the way. All right, so we got a pretty full looking box, which is always nice. First up, in no particular order, we are looking at an LTB exclusive Big and Bates. Uh, Big and Bates doesn't have a model or color or anything. It looks kind of like a surface frog popper style, but it's got a dive bill on it. Big and Bates is, I'm fairly new to this brand. I, I think I've gotten one or two of their lures so far, but I'm not that familiar with them as of yet. So this is a frog shape. It's got a dive bill on it though, and it looks pretty hefty. Uh, it's a pretty steep angle. I imagine this is probably gonna dive down three or four feet. So it's gonna be in that shallow diving sort of range. I'm guessing based on the fact that it's a frog, it's not going down to 15 feet. Um, and just, but yeah, that dive build to me says about three or four feet. I'd have to look it up and, and actually find out for sure, but it's definitely got all kinds of noise going on. It's got a big ball bearing in there and it's got a bunch of small little ones. So you can hear the different frequencies. Frogs aren't really your typical choice for walleye. I don't know if this is going to work well for walleye in particular or not. Be interesting to find out. I know for sure I'm gonna catch bass and I'm definitely gonna catch pike on this. So either way, it's gonna get some use. I'm not entirely sure if this is something that walleye around here will really go after. So we'll see about that. Next up, we have some hooks. Always nice to get a little bit of extra Terminal tackle, and these are just some Mustad Ultra Point wide gap hooks. Nothing wrong with that. We have Skinny Bear. So that's something that I am not at all familiar with. Uh, it's got some pretty cool packaging, though. I kind of like that. It's all kinds of colors and stuff going on, and very uh, artistic. So it's a Skinny Bear Junior Deep, and it says loud, rav loud rattle, weight shifts, long cast, deep sound. It doesn't say a dive depth, and the color is sexy. So, <laughs> sexy shad being what they are going for there. Uh, it's got a fairly substantial dive bill for the size of lure that it is. The dive bill is basically as long as the lure itself is so I imagine that's going pretty far down I'm thinking maybe that 10 to 12 foot dive depth it's the sexy shad color it's got the nice blue on the top um, that pattern with the yellow stripe and the dot on the side so your typical sexy shad bait fish sort of pattern what I like about this one though is it's not just that color pattern it's also got a lot of blue sparkle all over the place so this whole blue stripe along the top has these blue sparkles in it and then down the side of it into this grayish pattern and up to the yellow stripe. If it hits the light just right, it's got blue sparkles all along it. So that's pretty nice. Um, gives it that extra little bit of flash. As it says on the package, deep rattle. One big thump in there. And you can feel it. You can feel it moving around. So I imagine that'll help with casting. Yeah, all around a nice little lure. It's uh, a little on the smaller size, but for spring, um, when they're a little bit more timid, spawning, if you get close to that spawning period, then uh, that's appropriate. So walleye will definitely go after this.
Magnetic transfer system. Hydrotech. Hydrotech. I don't think I've gotten anything from them. It doesn't sound familiar. Again, really nice packaging on uh, this one as well. Uh, it doesn't say what it is. Hydrotech. Doesn't have a model or a color that I can find anywhere on the package. So let's just open it up and take a look. So it's a nice little diving jerk bait. Good size on this. This is, this is a nice long bait. So it's nice to have that variety of short and long. Really nice color on this actually. I really like this shallow sort of dive bill. I imagine this will go maybe down to, I'm gonna say six feet, maybe five to six feet. I'm guessing. Again, these, they don't have it listed. So it's just a guess. Really nice scale pattern on the side, black top, orange belly, just a nice bait fish general sort of pattern. The eyes on this are really nice looking and it's got that holographic foil on the silver part and the scales it's got each individual scale sort of outlined in a black color and they really stand out nicely so this is definitely going to be a good walleye lure this will be good bass pike everything nice finish on it and it's got a rattle as well so and you can hear again it's got a little bit of a bigger thumping rattle and then it's got some smaller, more uh, high-pitched ones in there as well. So an interesting lure. I won't know really anything about the action of it uh, until I get it in the water and try it out, but I'm sure I'll catch something on this. T-boned minnow from Bait Rigs. So Bait Rigs, I've been seeing these a lot. The Bait Rigs, I've obviously got a lot of them in the Lucky Tackle Box. They had that terrible ice box that was nothing but bait rigs. But I recently got these in Mystery Tackle Box as well. So it seems like they're growing in popularity. And the stuff is, from what I can see so far, not too bad. So this is the T-boned minnow from Bait Rigs. Purple nurple is the color. <laughs> uh, which is funny because there's no purple on it. Max dive depth of 5 feet. So it's a 5 foot dive depth. It's a really nice finish on this. It's a really nice color, although there's no purple. I'm not sure where they get the purple nurple color from, but I like the name. Really bright orange belly. It's got this nice gold striping along the back and then the gold spots on it as well. Just a really all around nice lure. Good general use size. Again, this will be a good multi-use lure. Walleye for sure will go after this. Bass, smallmouth bass around here will definitely go after something like this. And pike, of course, will always go after something like this. So nothing wrong with that. Um, that's a really nice lure to get, and I am looking forward to giving that a try. Does it have a rattle as well? So not really anything in there that's actually rattling. There's some stuff moving, but I think that's not actually meant to be a rattle. Okay, Producto. Producto, I've had these before, not this particular plastic. It's Tournament Grub, 4-inch from Producto Lures. I did a review on their Buzz Shad plastic and I really liked it and these look to be a decent plastic as well now these actually are purple a very dark purple but they are purple which is a really nice color around here purple is just the, the king for me in the places that I fish walleye smallmouth bass and pike always go after purple so this is nice to get it's a good stretchy plastic it's an interesting shape it's got these sort of details on it these bumps along the top and a, these bumps on the tail. It's got a nice flat tail. You'll get lots of action from that flat tail. All around a nice plastic. Little bit of a scent on there. It does say that it's scented. Not sure what that uh, scent is. It's, it smells plasticky, but you can tell it's not just the plastic. It is, there's a scent to it. It's not super strong and it's not greasy or anything. It's all around a nice plastic. I'm gonna definitely give these a try. I love purple plastics. Last up, we have some more plastics. These are the Smart Baits. It's actually been a while since I've gotten some Smart Baits. I was getting them pretty much in every box for a while there. Smart Baits, and these are the four inch Gobi changes from blood red and blue to chartreuse and pearl, apparently. Uh, as usual, good plastics. I don't care for the color changing thing. But these, uh, as a plastic, they're fine. Shape on this, the goby shape, it's got all kinds of stuff. It's got the flippers. It's got a really nice wide tail, but with a skinny attachment, so you get lots of flutter. 
and lots of action with that tail. You get the little bit of extra with these side fins and the whole thing has got ribbed texture and sparkle in it. So you get this nice blue and orange color. You got a lot of nice sparkle in there. Just a really all around decent plastic. Walleye probably will go after this. I'm not sure about these side fins. Uh, I guess they're a goby representation. We don't really have goby around here, so I don't know how well walleye will go after that. Um, I don't see why they wouldn't, though. Smallmouth bass for sure will go after something like this, and pike, of course, will go after this. So all around, nice plastics. They're pretty good, pretty beefy, pretty stretchy, don't tear easily. I'm a little worried about this super skinny connection on the tail here, but I'll have to find out. I'll have to go catch some fish and see if they rip it off really easy. So nothing wrong with that. I'm looking forward to giving that a try. Last up, we have the literature, of course. You get some promotional materials. You get the Lucky Monthly little magazine here, and it's got advertisements, and it's got a couple articles and tips and tricks and stuff like that. That's the box for April. So all, all in all, a pretty good box. Uh, everything in here, fairly multi-species. Um, not necessarily anything that's I would consider walleye specific, but everything here should be pretty decent for walleye for around here. So I really got no complaints about this box other than it arrived a little bit late. But again, that happens pretty infrequently. So it's not a big deal for me. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Um, let me know what you guys are getting in your boxes. I have gotten comments on a fair number of my videos for different box companies that uh, people tell me they're getting different stuff uh, and not just different colors and stuff, but actual different boxes. So I'm always interested to hear that. If you have a different experience, let me know about it. I always try and reply to all feedback. Like and subscribe down there below. It helps me out a lot for the channel. And of course, if you're not already, follow us on Facebook, facebook.com slash truenorthwilds, on Instagram at truenorthwilds, and of course, our blog site, truenorthwilds.com. Thanks for watching, and as usual, I will see you outside.